Hello and welcome back to ETW Fallen Hick. Um, today I'll be taking on Galleon's Graveyard and probably uh, Decrepit Sewers as well, or Corrupted, corrupted Decrepit Sewers as well. But on camera for this recording, I will only be doing uh, Galleon's Graveyard to keep up the suspense or something like that. Um, I am level 65, as you can tell. My gear is Chitin Plate and Viking Stone. Um, I did run a test run, not on this class, but with another class, and basically the only thing I should struggle with is boss. Um, I, I really hope I don't die. I, I really, because it's the furthest I've reached, so. Yeah, um, no defense, no agility, fallen down to blood pact with one battle monk ability here, Tempest. Um, I do have a Nimrak scroll in case I need help. Uh, I also have these, which I crafted without realizing that I wouldn't have enough skill points to go to intelligence. So they're just kind of sitting there. Um, yeah. I think, without further ado, let's just get into it. This is a story mode, of course, since I haven't ran it before. I don't think I have an option. Yeah, I don't have an option. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm a little scared because I, I have I have almost 10k HP at level 60. It should be fine. That's my EHP though. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. Um, hopefully game audio should be better this time. Oh, that, that stuff damages you, so I'll stay away. Uh, all right, let's go fight this guy. Actually, probably need to get out of corrupted. So first segment, there's not much cheese in this dungeon. Like it's, it's first of all brand new. So. Five is useful here. Doesn't damage you like in the corrupted version here. All right, I got the cannon. And ouch, that hurt. Now, when you look at the damage I do to these mobs, you'll be thinking, oh, he's gonna have a fine time with the boss. No, the boss has a ludicrous amount of health for this level. Range. Like, it, it's unfair, because it, it, it's like... It goads you into thinking it's easy, and then springs on you the girth of downing. Red beard. All right, now we just walk. I think. I think walking is enough. Yeah. Thirty seconds walking. A walking simulator. Outside simulator. Okay, I've run out of funny jokes and a lot of funny ones. And I don't like this dungeon. Um, I will only be running this once, and that's for the completion. I'm not going to be running it for tools, I'm going to be running either Decrepit Sewers or Infested Pit for tools. I haven't decided which, depending on if I can complete Decrepit Sewers. Uh, easily enough. If I can, great, I'll run Decrepit Sewers, because the Forgery Chest has, uh, assists greatly in how fast you get uh, token or fragments. And the XP is basically doubled. Which is it's quite pretty insane. Okay. So from what I remember in my test run, um, the only thing I have to watch out for, pretty much, is the multi hit that the shark has. Which is not 
yet. Riveting gameplay, I know. Now. One more creature. Alright, Megalodon spawns here. And it spawns two of them. Fantastic. I do have um, Blood Pact, so I do lose health if I cast spells at low health, but that's oh, a risk I'm willing to, willing to take. That's the risk I took when taking this challenge. It's full fallen. Anyway. I probably won't use it for my end game builds because Blood Pact sustaining is kind of eh. But anyway. So, one tip I do have um, you can just ignore those guys because you have enough health. Oh my gosh. To tank them. You, they're way far out and you have nothing better to do. Oh my gosh. I hate I hate this dungeon fashion. Rather, I hate the remake. I, I kinda enjoyed the original. It was pretty simple. Redeeming qualities. Even its level range is unnecessary. I guess my tip is the hitboxes of the boats. Extend far out in front. I'm gonna have to redo this out here. I hate. I can't just go there like this. This isn't a low TPS world either, this is just wind being bad at the game. So it's just wind lagging. I hate how long this dungeon is. Unnecessarily, I will complain about this dungeon being bad the entire like thing. And I guess in future runs, I probably finally. Future runs, I probably won't even do this dungeon again. This is just for the recording. Frogs on a fence. Alright, now we fight, well not fight, ch are chased by the fishy. Yeah, get 
Your cutscene. That's about as engaging as all. Oh, I did roll up. Rattle, rum, num, num, num. I did Realm of Light 3 earlier. That level was uh, a nice browse through Reddit. I'll say that much. There's a one combat scene, or combat in the Warden of Wisdom room, but other than that, it was, yeah, no. Bad quest for a bad quest line. I wrote an essay on how Lari's character is bad in terms of, like, how it was written. I might remember to link that below, maybe? If not, just bug me in the comments. These guys hurt when they hit you. Wait for the fish. Are you freaking kidding me? Are there gonna be two fishes that spawn? There are two fishes. There better not be two red beards. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna try my hardest to not get two red beards to spawn because I know that's a bug. I am reminded that, that is a bug, because Chaos Dragon mentioned in this most recent video, and of course, as all good wind explosions, this one damages you if you stand close enough. Alright. Take the potion, just so I full health when I enter. Alright. Boss fight time. Shotgun. Not appreciated. Alright. This is a boss fight I have to be very mindful of. first boss fight I am actually scared for my life. It's the first one I don't know. Also the first one I have with um, reliable manic spell casting ability. And yes, I am not using. Yes, there we go. Done. That's it. That's all, folks. That's all you'll ever see. It's the only time I've not ever. I'll probably complete this dungeon again in the future, but that's the only time I'm going to do it on this class. Um, adios. Thanks for watching. I will see you in Crypt to Crypt Sewers.